Part two of WPSD's Local 6 Legal Line now with Bryant, uh, Bryant Law Center's Mark Bryant. And Bryant Law Center now with locations in Paducah and Louisville. And we have a question regarding personal injury, and we'll take yours too if you can get it in at one 208 Tanya says, my daughter was seriously injured in a car wreck, and we think the car wreck was caused by a faulty tire. Do we have a case? What do we do? Well, the first thing I'd like to say is, Dave, yeah, we do have offices in Paducah and Louisville, but we're still the local Paducah lawyers, unlike some of these law firms that are coming in from Orlando, Florida, and places. But with that in mind, uh, the, the answer to your question is, we have handled lots of cases. Start with a Firestone case years ago, where we had a case where four little girls got killed when a four Firestone tire uh, exploded. And we filed a lawsuit against Firestone and uh, took lots of depositions and ultimately we settled that case for a heck of a lot of money. But we've had a lot of tire cases. We had a motorcycle tire case uh, where a tire uh, exploded and, and of course a guy ended up going over the, uh, the front of the motorcycle and he became a quadriplegic. Uh, we had a case recently where somebody died and we had to sue a company out of China uh, to file a lawsuit against them, and we did, and ultimately that case was settled also. So yeah, all you do is pick up the phone. I mean, we, we handle a lot of those kind of cases. It's called a products liability case, and uh, we are glad to help you. And, and, uh, and like I said, we, we are your local guys and girls. All you gotta do is just pick up the phone and we're happy to help. We have a question from Penny who uh, says, I lent my car to my boyfriend who had a wreck. Will his insurance cover the damages or will it fall on my insurance company? Well, Penny, here's how that works. That's too bad. <clears throat> but first thing that happens is your car is what is insured. And so unless your, uh, your boyfriend did not have authority uh, or was stopped by the insurance policy from driving that car, your insurance will pick up damages first. Then, uh, if there's not enough insurance, and he has insurance, then that would be an additional insurance policy that would cover whoever might have been hurt uh, or damaged in that case. But uh, yeah, yeah, the bad news is uh, your insurance is going to pay for it first. Got a question from Andy who says, I was recently injured in a car wreck, went through some treatment. My doctor released me, but added that I might need to have surgery down the road. Can I still get the insurance company to pay for future medical bills? Yeah, but I got to tell you, they're not going to do it with you calling them and asking to do it. You need a lawyer in the worst way because uh, insurance companies routinely do not want to pay for future medicals. You have to have more than a letter from a doctor. Oftentimes, you have to have a deposition from a doctor uh, to say uh, that will say that. And uh, so you need to talk to a lawyer because you may well have to start uh, uh, litigation over it. That doesn't mean that you're going to end up going to trial, but it depends on when the wreck happened. Uh, but if you were hurt, you need, to, uh, you need to do that. And if the doctor told you that you may have surgery in the future, you obviously were hurt, but you need to get, uh, you need to, get to a lawyer to get that word to the insurance company because the insurance company is not going to voluntarily pay it. Yeah. Mark Bryant of the Bryant Law Center, uh, one of our guests today on Local 6 Legal Line. We heard from Emily Roark and now Mark Bryant. If you'd like to review either one of these segments, give us a little bit. We'll post them on our website under the Legal Line icon at WPSDLocal6.com. Stay with us. We've got more to come right after the break.